Thank you for joining us today. And now let us enter into the sanctuary of the Evergreen Baptist Church, where the worship service is already in progress.
give them what they need, Lord, to make them walk along with faith. We ask you to guide and direct them, Lord. We know this is the day that you have made. We just come to rejoice and we just come to be happy. We come to give you the praise. We come to give you the glory. We come to say thank you. Lord, I can't say it enough. We come to say thank you. Lord, we say come to say thank you for all of your blessings, all that you have done, all that you're doing, and all that you will do. We say thank you. Then we ask you to bless the man of God who will stand in John 2 and proclaim your mighty word on the day. We ask you to give him strength, give him the power, give him encouragement, give him the boldness to say what well, thus says the Lord. Then Lord, we ask you to fill our cups, our cups up, all the up to the day. But we ask you to fill our cups up.
thank you for this church. We thank you for our commitment that we'll continue to give our time and offerings, that your word continue to go forth throughout this world. We pray your choice of blessing on each given, that you continue to bless them. Those who have a mind to give without the means, we pray for them also. Make this time and offering be used up in your name to the world. This week, we pray that all of us speak together as we say.
what we are going to uh, in the church. Amen. Amen. And God has called us to be patient. Amen. Amen. God rewards patience. Yes, God rewards yes, yes. virtue, pureness, Amen. holiness. Amen. God rewards faithfulness. Amen. Amen. Our faithfulness to keep the doors of the church open. That the deacons are still praying. Amen. The church is still participating. That the, the, the preachers are still preaching. Yes. Amen. Amen. And I thank God for the preachers this morning that work as hard as they can oh, yeah. to keep the Pulpit alive. It's all about keeping the church alive. Thank you, Deacon, for all that you do for keeping the church alive. Thank you, officers. I'm sure you have your frustration. Amen. And who don't? But has not the Lord called us, even uh, when we're disagreeing or agreeing, press toward the mark of the high calling? which is in Christ Jesus. We carry ourselves the way we do because we have a God. And we have a Savior. No one promised us uh, that life is going to be perfect. My life is far from perfect each and every day. But if it's going well with your soul, as smooth as you like, like it to go, thank God. Because you don't know when your storm Come. Amen. And all of us in this life have to go through something. So uh, we, we thank you, Evergreen, this morning for being Evergreen, for living the legacy and keeping the legacy of Jesus Christ alive within you at 408 West Department Boulevard. Amen. This church is rich in legacy, yes. rich in tradition, yes. not of man.
was different from us in that he was sent from heaven. Amen. But who would accept the amount of suffering that he would uh, uh, go through and face it head on as he did? Amen. Knowing that people were out to destroy him. Yes, sir. Knowing that Peter, even his own, would deny him. Knowing that he would be convicted of the uh, by the Sanhedrin Council, knowing that what Pilate would uh, sentence him to death, all of these things, you know, we have problems uh, facing our issues each and every day, but Jesus faced everything head on. Jesus walked forward into everything. Jesus ran from nobody, and as far as I know, he helped everyone uh, who came unto him and sought him for help. Yes, yes. And those who turned away, well, they didn't want to give up their riches. <laughs> they didn't want to uh, give up their wealth. Amen. Yeah. So we have the triumphal uh, uh, entry here yes. of Jesus. Everything is pointing to the cross of Calvary right. by which he would die on Good Friday. Amen. Yeah. But he still had something to go through. Yeah. Amen. According to Scripture, clothing was laid upon the coat which Jesus uh, rode upon and the ground over which Jesus rode while on the coat. Amen. They were honoring him with a kingly uh, sense of royalty. Amen. He would have to ride that coat, yeah. which would uh, 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 bring him through Jerusalem. And then he would have to face the cross. Yeah. You know, we all go through things in life. Or we all have been through some things yes. that we just did not want to face in life. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. But not Jesus, amen. Jesus humbly yes. submitted himself yes. to the will of of his father. Amen. Yeah. And that's what it's about today. God has called us to humbly oh, yeah. submit to his will. Yeah. He said, I didn't come to do my will, but I came to do the will of my father. Amen. Yeah. And I like to say that Jesus is, is uh, that the Holy Spirit, God through the Holy Spirit is still uh, cutting away at the rough edges in our lives. Yeah. Yeah. He's still Bringing us into the conformity, not yeah. to be conformed to the world, right. but each and every day I want to be more like Jesus Christ. Yes, sir. And sometimes that involves pain. Yes, sir. Sometimes that involves sorrow. Yes, sir. Sometimes that involves affliction. Yes, sometimes that involves getting involved in things that you know you didn't sign up for in the Christian life. Now, Jesus said that, you know, if I had to suffer, and I had to go through all these things, what about you and I? Amen. He suffered, and he, he bore his cross. Amen. The coat was common for kings to ride. Amen. Some, some people think that the coat represented humility. Well, I, I studied one uh, commentator on yesterday, yeah. and the way he put it is when you roll a coat, it was like riding on a Rolls, in a Rolls, Rolls Royce today. Wow. Amen. He was highly esteemed by riding on that coat. Right. So when they had appeared, uh, when they had approached Jerusalem and had come to Bethphage at the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two of his disciples. The scripture doesn't say who they were, for whatever reason, they aren't identified, but he said unto them, go into a village opposite. 
God for Brother John. Yes. 